But these lines here, these are actually, these are fuel lines. Moving over here, so this is a fuel line. This is all fuel here. And this is the fuel filter. And let's see. We've got this loose already. Try to see the easiest way to take this out, I think. The idea is to take take it out with the least uh, disassembly and reassembly possible. So I'll to try to figure that out and film it next. So this plug here, the fuel, maybe a fuel pressure sensor, the colors, green and red. And this guy here, it's also got green and red. So black on the inside. This here is the fuel filter. Okay, the fuel filter. Uh, just so I know how to put this back together. That's what these clamps look like. Now, fuel filters loose now. Now these clamps, they are one-time use. I just uh, I watched a video made by ID Parts. Um, so these need to be pried up whenever, I don't know yet all which ones I'm gonna be removing, but they need to be pried off and ID Parts recommends uh, not reusing the same type, but instead, again, these are single use, so once they come off, they're done. Might have to replace those pieces of fuel line and use the uh, screw tighten type instead on the new fuel line. So easier to uh, remove and won't have to deal with that another time. So this is gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out which lines to pry off and then this fuel filter will come out. On the, on the fuel filter, there was actually one more bolt here. <clears throat> and there was one more bolt right there. And I will put that bolt back where it was. Okay, so this bracket here, two bolts, one to bottom, one to top. The bottom one is the longer one. But then uh, this line here goes into this fuel rail. So um, that's like one piece. So this fuel rail has to come off. It's attached here. Also, this line goes on here. There's not a bolt over here. Um, so I think this fuel rail will have to be removed altogether um, to get this off. Okay, the, the fuel, the bolts that hold in these rails uh, are the same size as the bottom one here. 
go in this box. Uh, these come loose with an 18 millimeter. They're not particularly tight, quite easy to turn off. 18 millimeter. Okay, with that 18 millimeter, I loosen these. Yes. Put one back there. This rail is now somewhat loose, but <coughs> these lines now, some of these lines will have to be removed in order to get this out. Let's take a good look at how it, how it's put together. So we have lines coming from here. Through here. Yes. Uh, these are again those single use clamps. This goes into the fuel filter. The center fuel line that connects these two rails, with this rail being slightly loose, I was able to pull this out without uh, removing the uh, fuel rails. In another video, I heard they were not able to do that. Um, I was able to pull it out without bending it significantly, but the right rail is loose. That might have given a little bit of wiggle room. So, definitely have to remove the filter here, but I'm not yet sure if it's necessary to completely remove all this. So, I'm going to experiment with that next. Well, first I'll have to definitely get the filter out. Okay, let's go over what some of these things actually are. So these lines here, these are fuel. Uh, you, they, they go back to this guy here. These are called fuel return lines. And to get these off, Um, push in the center and at the same time pull on that collar until it clicks although I just uh, discovered how to do this on YouTube but I <clears throat> haven't actually made it work yet but before I go on with that the on the inside here, these are the, the glow plugs are here. So these are electrical. So there's one, here's one. The harness here a bit. There's one. <clears throat> I've already taken that one off. So that's the glow plug. And then, uh, the other two are here and here. Um, <clears throat> we also have this uh, sensor connector that goes into the intake. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to I'm going to remove these glow plug wires. Um, So this, this one goes into the harness right here. <clears throat> and this, so this goes, let's see how it goes into the harness. So 
they run into this wire here. This wire. <clears throat> one of them <clears throat> so these fuel return lines you want to uh, unlock these by pulling these up and I had to I'm able to do that by putting this underneath and pushing it up and they're unlocked I couldn't just uh, pull them out without using the pliers, but now that they're up, this pulls off. Okay, so these rings pull up and then it will pop off. I'm gonna do that with these, uh, these other two here. Okay, now I've got these uh, three removed. So to put them back in, it's first push this on and then push the lock, the lock down. So this fuel return line goes to this uh, piece here that we loosened earlier. And following the fuel return line, uh, this just this one goes on to here. You just kind of pull that out of this piece here. So that removes all of of this on the left side so to continue on removing the wiring harness I have to take out this plug at the end the levers on the other side at the bottom here you pull this out and then we can raise this rail just a little bit enough to squeeze these plugs underneath and pull it out. The one on the right did have to be removed after all. Let's see if there's a So the one that plugs in the end here, there's a red wire and a green wire in it. <clears throat> so that tab was completely stuck, it wouldn't come out. I tried to push this in from underneath, but it wouldn't come out. So this guy came off, this looks like I'll have to put a new one on there, whatever that might be. Okay, loosening these bolts uh, and these fuel lines here. Give enough room here to take these wires, take the wiring harness out. back in place later so the one at the end here is broken I'm gonna take that guy off um, it's this guy here it's actually this cap it's supposed to be part of that it's, could probably be glued back on there but I think I'll get a new one maybe that's a I don't know what some kind of sensor Maybe you feel pressure or something. So, now we have the wiring harness off. On the left side, it's, it's off now. So this fuel line, this curved one here, 
It's the first one I'll take off because it's holding back removal of this. And I need to get this, this out. So I'll be removing this fuel line here. Next, I'll take this fuel line out here. I can take the filter out. Uh, this will have diesel in it. So I'm gonna try not to spill it everywhere. And the filter is already nearly out. I'll take both of these, these lines off actually. This line I can probably cut here and reuse, it's long enough. This will probably be, need to be replaced and this line will need to be replaced. Get new clamps and we'll use the screw tightening ones. Okay, the fuel filter came out as expected. I had to uh, break these clamps and then it things will come off. Break them with pliers. I actually used these in, in one case. <clears throat> so some of these fuel lines will have to be replaced. I'm gonna take this line off next. Okay, this guy is going in here. So from here goes to here because this is kind of holding this in. And most of the bolts, like these and go here on the, the fuel system are the same size. This guy holds these. That guy. So the focus. This guy here holds in these lines. Is a little bit shorter than the other ones. So just remember, compare it. So most of them. Most of them are that size, and that's that guy there. I had to remove uh, this last one, and I'm gonna have to remove this one to get the fuel rail out because this, these two tubes are holding it back, these fuel tubes. I could barely, I had to remove the fuel return lines here, which is uh, out here now, uh, just to be able to get the wrench to fit in at an 18 millimeter, uh, just barely able to get that in there. Um, got the 18 in there. Now I can use a shorter. I got the 18 in there just enough to get it loose, and a shorter one can now and tighten it. So. Now some diesels coming out here and there. A little bit and that's going to be the reason this car will be hard to start when this is put back together so the fuel stuff is going in here um, so now um yeah no. the fuel rail is now out i'm going to try to move i did not disconnect these two fuel lines here i'm going to see if i can move all of this uh, to the left here without uh, and tightening them uh, and loosening those two hoses i'm going to go ahead and remove this little guy this little hose that way i can just remove this fuel barrel all together and then the rest of the lines can just be moved over to the left here i'm going to move uh, the driver's side wiring harness i'm gonna take that over just out of the way here now i can pull all this stuff oh this here is the uh, return fuel return line driver's sides this should just pull out Fuel system is now basically removed. I'm going to try.
try to move this over here. So I was able to just kind of pull everything to the side here without making any further disconnections. So here's here are the driver's side return lines and here's the distributor looking thing. Return line, collector, I guess, whatever it is. Uh, so these hoses are still attached here. The whole thing is moved over there to the left. But now attempt to move the wiring harness out of the way. Um, importantly, there's a, a ground wire that should be reattached here on the wiring harness. So if I move this wiring harness also over here to the left, then we get to the point where we're almost at the intakes. 